In many ways, the settings for shooting stills or videos on a DSLR are the same. For example, you can use the dial mode here to select the mode in which you want to shoot either stills or video. You can have it on auto, you can have it on portrait, or you could have it on manual. And the parameters are effectively the same too. You can change your ISO, you can change your aperture, or you can change your shutter speed. The only extra element when you're shooting video is your frame rate, and that's selected as we have done before when you chose 1080 60 or 1080 25 or 30 or 720. So the frame rate is the one element, the extra element, for video. Now if you're shooting at a given frame rate, it's recommended that your shutter speed is twice that frame rate. So if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, the shutter speed should be about 1 60th. Likewise, if you're shooting at 60, then your frame rate should be about 1 25th. Now you do have some flexibility here. It's not carved in stone. You could easily go up to 1 200th or even 1 400th if that's what you wanted without the video suffering too much. In terms of ISO, then obviously in terms of keeping the quality as, as, as good as possible, then you'd like the ISO to be as low as possible. And the aperture, of course, will control your depth of field. Now, the three elements here, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, can all be changed when you're in the manual setting. And let me show you how. Now, the odd one out, in a sense, is aperture, because you cannot change the aperture when you're actually shooting the video. So you need to preset your aperture, and you can only do that outside of live view. And if you're outside of live view, then you can see the aperture when you're in the back screen and you can change that by pressing the exposure button at the top and using the main dial to go along to change the aperture either up or down. Now at this point of course you can also change the ISO and the shutter speed. In exactly the same way you can change the shutter speed by using the main dial on its own and you can change the ISO by looking at the I button and moving across and choosing the ISO and changing it accordingly. However, you may want to change either the ISO or the shutter speed whilst you are actually shooting the video. In which case, you can either use the function button, which you've preset to change ISO, and use the main dial, which will change the ISO even if you're shooting at the same time, or you can use the main dial on its own to change the shutter speed, again, even if you're shooting video at the time. And the great thing about using the back screen, of course, is that you can instantly see the change in either changing shutter speed or ISO. The image will go lighter or darker. So those are the ways that you can change the shutter speed, the aperture, or the ISO when you're shooting video. If you want to know more about this camera, then why don't you download our unique guide which tells you all about the Nikon D3400 and compares it with other cameras which are available now. You can download it either from here or from the link in the description below, and you can download it absolutely free. So why don't you go to it straight away and download it now, and we'll see you very soon.